the beginning, so in the early 90s, it was really about being very flexible, listening to people really hard to hear what it was they needed to be able to survive. Ryan White allowed us to bring in social workers, it allowed us to bring in psychologists, it allowed us to treat people in their homes, it allowed us to bring in clinical trials that we would not have been able to fund otherwise, so we could, even for our poorest patients, they could have access to the most cutting-edge things that might save their lives. And all those things were made possible by Ryan White. When I think about the uh, Ryan White program over the last 25 or so years, what comes to mind for being successful as a system speaks to the resilience, the ability to stay focused, to know what the goals are, to share that, and continuously support that through the years obviously through funding, but through program innovations, through the sharing of best practices, through opportunities to support the providers, to provide the lab services that many of the preventive programs need. And they've held true to this. Having HIV was a nightmare for people on every level. It was a medical nightmare in terms of their medical conditions, but it was also a nightmare around how are they gonna pay for their medical services. The Ryan White Care Act changed everything. It was funding for people to get care. It was government acknowledgement of this disease and acknowledging that people needed help and that the American government was going to help them. It made so many things available to people that we were able to start treating anyone who needed it. I, don't, I just don't know how to put it in words as far as the help and the support, you know, for that I got from them when I first found out I was positive. It's not a death sentence anymore. People are living long lives, productive lives, being um, HIV positive, and it's only because of the Ryan White program. A lot of my patients were non-English speaking, so I served as an interpreter for a lot of them. Um, most of them did not, um, could not work because they were severely disabled from opportunistic illnesses. But unfortunately, we still see that today. Um, you know, we still see a lot of people who are non-English speakers who don't have good access to healthcare, and they're still getting diagnosed with cryptococcal meningitis and with PCP pneumonia. So that still exists today, but I think because of Ryan White, we've made a huge dent in that. We're diagnosing people much earlier and getting them on medications before they get that sick. ADAP, which is the AIDS Drug Assistance Program, has been truly one of the lifelines for me because even with the insurance coverage I had, I couldn't afford the, the co-pays. I mean, some of the injectables that I was on originally and, and over the years have been thousands of dollars a month. Having a support system for that is immeasurable. Well, the Ryan White program has really um, saved my life. Um, if, if it wasn't for the uh, Ryan White program and the um, programs that are supported here in San Francisco, um, I'm not sure I would be here today. The greatest accomplishment that Ryan White uh, Care Act has made, I think, is just in terms of looking at the number of people who are living now and are doing well. It's meant the difference between life and death for many, many, many persons throughout this nation. Even if they have this disease, they need to be proud of themselves. The time for life is getting short. I would love to everyone to get the help asking for help. Ryan White's still big focus on taking care of people, still big focus on quality improvement. Those things don't go away, but also increasingly turning toward how do we use what we have to end the epidemic in the U.S. 
And I think the way that Ryan White does that is by allowing us to focus on the whole continuum of, of care. I think what we need to do is we need to be bold, to do things that make us nervous sometimes. I think that right now in the U.S. we have everything we need to be able to achieve an AIDS-free generation.